My name is Ryan Roth. I'm the vice president of Roth Farms. The majority of our time, effort, and energy is in leafy vegetables, uh, lettuce, romaine, cilantro, which is what we're standing in now, uh, green leaf, red leaf, and, and celery. We've had a few acres this year with, with zero weeding labor at all. That's remarkable. Uh, we grow lettuce in the tropics. The weeds are very aggressive. We get humidity and heat. Um, that's not really normal for iceberg and romaine to be grown in this type of environment. So to have any acres whatsoever that are, are farmed and brought all the way to harvest without any uh, hand labor is pretty wild. So just on its face, start there. Uh, I, I would say on top of that though, you know, lettuce doesn't like a lot of damage to its root system. It doesn't like to be messed with too much. So I think we've seen uh, increased quality, um, consistency of the crop. The, the labor savings is the number one. And, and we did, did realize some of that this year. Field conditions in Belle Glade, Florida. Uh, the soil that we farm on has, you know, a lot of benefits, but in the mechanical weeding aspect, a lot of challenges. Uh, we grow sugar cane, so there's large cane roots in the beds, and the mechanical weeders are gonna drag those through the field and, and damage the field. Um, we also are dealing with somewhat shallow soil, so we have rocks. The mechanical weeders get tied up uh, in those rocks. Uh, the soil itself can either be really hard and packed like concrete or really soft and loose like powder, and those mechanical weeders does, doesn't have any kind of feel for what the soil type is. Cost of, of hand labor subsequent to that would be finding people. Uh, you know, it's tough to find people to do that work and then you do find people to do a job and um, you realize they may have other opportunities to harvest or do some other job so they move up and you know it's kind of like an entry level position is, is, is hoeing so um, that would be one of the challenges is mainly finding people and the cost of hoeing. Uh, the herbicides is, you know is impact on the environment, residual uh, in the soil, things like that. Honestly, I would say of all the different type of companies that we deal with, and I don't want to name any names, Carbon Robotics is unreal. <laughs> with the responsiveness, the ability to work directly with my guys, I'm not in a tractor on a day-to-day -day basis for any reason whatsoever. My guy understands that machine because of what y'all do. Our weed pressure is extreme. So it's slower right now than I expected it to be. It gets faster every day, but the idea that it's so slow you don't need it makes no sense. Uh, if anything, I need more. There's no question in my mind that it's the way forward. So uh, yeah, um, farmers are always worried about cost because you can't always guarantee profit. You don't know where your revenue stream is gonna be or how, where the market's gonna be. So that's difficult. Um, but the, 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 so the expense of the machine and all that, that's what everybody thinks about. But it, it makes sense um, and, and it probably makes more sense as it progresses than even today. So, um, you know, but that doesn't make, mean you should wait for the progress to happen. You should be in front of it.